it's been a it's been a good ride for the last eight years, um, and we've uh, certainly had some challenges and uh, uh, had some frustrations as as we've gone, but uh, overall I'd say um, that being able to serve the city uh, in this capacity as councilman has been a pleasure and an honor. Uh, to be able to do that and I thank the citizens for electing me um, and as you know uh, uh, this uh, this election I decided to back away I, I felt like uh, eight years was enough and it was <clears throat> certainly time for new people to uh, come in and I, I think the vote in the primary when Marlon Kirkendall was elected mayor uh, pretty much indicated that that people were ready uh, to make some serious changes and and for the incumbents to uh, go on their merry way and and for new people to come in and, and do their thing for the city and I I think that that is important that we do that every so often uh, you know the United States Congress it's kind of a, a joke that people get in there and they're there forever uh, and that shouldn't be the way it is uh, I don't think it should be the way in the United States Congress and certainly not the way in city politics. Um, you know, I, I think about uh, going clear back to the early days and, and uh, one of the first things we faced was um, open space. And the people had voted that they wanted to spend, uh, and it's always talked about uh, how much are we going to spend on open space. Well, uh, I've heard people say, well, they voted we're supposed to spend $40.7 million. Uh, but then when I go back and read the language of the, um, the vote that was taken, uh, they, they say it's up to $40.7 million, which Councilman Laverson keeps talking about the fact that means we don't have to spend a penny. What have we spent? We spent 15 or $16 million in the eight years that I've been in, in the council, on the council. Um, and I, I'm proud of that. Uh, we didn't ever turn down a piece of open space that was um, priced properly and was available to us uh, to, uh, to do that. Now, where, when you look at are, are we going to spend more in the next few years, I'd say no because the next four or five years as we finish out that a one cent sales tax that is divided somewhat between open space and, and streets. Um, our streets are suffering and we certainly need to to uh, spend the money uh, in the next four or five years on that instead of on open space. And I have talked to the open space people and told them uh, that very thing that I uh, not to plan on a lot, a lot of money for open space in the next few years that we have to catch up with the streets first. And I'm sure that uh, somewhere down the line uh, uh, there will be money available for open space purchases again. Uh, the last one we, we did uh, that I was involved in was uh, to finish the, the trail around um, Willow Lake. And I think that was very important that we, that we did buy that piece of property and so that we can have a complete trail around that. Um, you know, I, I look at the annexations. Uh, uh, the fan annexation was very critical and important and very controversial, as you know, and ended up with some court time and what have you, and legal ex experience and expenses. Um, but uh, it's 1,142 acres. It's out in Granite Dells, and I think it's very, very critical and important that we move ahead with that. Um, the, the city, while we, we've taken flack that we have grown too quickly. Uh, I don't believe that's true. I think our our two percent or three percent, and of course in the last year or so, I think it's been zero percent. We haven't grown at all, uh, and I, I think that has been reasonable. I think that a a city needs to grow and infill and do things like that, or they die. And we certainly, I know I've seen times when downtown there were shops boarded up and things like that. We don't want that to happen. And I think a, a modest growth of, of 2% or 3% is, is important for us to, to
to sustain ourselves here. Um, and thinking about roads, and, and again, uh, you know, Copper Basin and Iron Springs, those were very difficult projects that needed to be done, and I'm proud of the fact that we did complete those, and of course the 69-89 interchange has been important. Uh, we're still working on a divider down Highway 69, so we don't have any more of this Blood Alley thing that we went through with a lot of people being killed out there. So it's important that we work with ADOT and finish that off. Water, of course, that's always been uh, an issue uh, ever since I arrived and will pro probably continue to be an issue. But you know, I really feel that Mayor, Kirk Mayor Kirkendall will be uh, very aggressive in uh, working on that, on solutions for the water. I believe we'll, you will see that the solutions become not only Prescott and Prescott Valley, but, but the, the, the region. Um, I think that uh, the county will be involved uh, before it's over and um, different things. I, I believe the, the uh, legal opinions that we've gotten lately have been uh, very good for the city of Prescott. We spent a lot of money at it, but uh, we have been, uh, uh, we've been justified in, in the fact that we um, have approached this thing properly, that the legislature, the state legislature, did give us the, the right to import water from the Big Chino. Um, and uh, that, that's critical and going to be critical for the future. And, and, not, and then not just for growth. We, we have a little bit of annexation yet to go out by the airport, but pretty soon uh, you're going to see a fence drawn around Prescott, and that's it. We're, we're up against... Uh, Prescott Valley on the, on the east now. We're up against the National Forest on the south and on the west, and we're coming very close to being up against Chino on the north. So, so annexations will not be a big thing in the future. Uh, I think we'll finish off the ones that we have to do, and then we need to concentrate on infill. Um, and, and so uh, having sufficient water to do that and to reach safe yield is very critical and important. And, and of course now with this latest election where we have this Prop 401 uh, that says that uh, any project 40 million or so um, has to be approved by the voters. And I, and I think that's okay. Um, uh, the voters need to weigh in. And if, if the city is able to make a good case for what they're trying to do, I, I think that I have confidence in the voters of, of Prescott that they will approve uh, projects if they are justified. So.